Welcome to the spoken tutorial on XCOS, Scilab Connected Object Simulator. XCOS is a Scilab package for modeling and simulation of dynamical systems. It includes both continuous and discrete systems. In this tutorial, you will learn what is XCOS, what is palette, build block diagrams in XCOS, set up the parameters of blocks, set up the simulation parameters, Simulate the constructed block diagram. To practice this tutorial, Scilab should be installed on your system. I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 and Scilab version 5.3.3 for demonstration. Open Scilab console window on your computer. Go to the applications and select XCOS or type XCOS in your Scilab console window and press enter. By doing this, two windows will open. The two windows are Palette Browser and Untitled XCOS window. In Palette Browser, you will find different types of blocks. Commonly used blocks, Continuous Time System blocks, Discrete Time System blocks and many more. The other window, Untitled XCOS, is blank with grids. We will now simulate a first order system with a step input. To begin, I will select a transfer function block from the continuous time system palette. Drag this block to the untitled XCOS window. Select the required source in the sources palette. I will scroll down and use the step function block. I will drag and place it before the transfer function block. Similarly, the output is displayed using the C-scope block which is available in the Sinks palette. The C-scope block is placed after the transfer function block. The red input port in C-scope denotes that this is an event-driven block. It needs an event input for execution. An event generator block is available in the event handling palette. The name of this block is clock underscore C. Drag and place this block above the C-scope block. We have collected all the required blocks to do the simulation. Let us now connect the blocks together. Select the output port of step function block and connect it to the input port of transfer function block. Notice that the selected input port gets highlighted in green color. Similarly, Connect the remaining blocks as shown. Now we will set the parameters of each block. First, go to the step block and double click on it. A pop up window appears asking for the value of step time, initial value, and final value. Step time is the time at which the step change will occur. We will keep it as 1, which is the default value. Initial value is the initial output value of the step function. We will keep it as 0 which is the default value. Final value is the output of the step function after the step time is lapsed. We will change it to 2. Click on OK. Follow the similar procedure to configure any other block. For transfer function block, the following configuration is required. Numerator value in Laplace domain has to be entered. We will keep it as 1 which is the default value. Denominator value in Laplace domain has to be entered. We will change it to 2 asterisk s plus 1. Click on OK. Double click on the C-scope block to configure the following parameters. The value of y min and y max should be set depending on the range of the value of the variables to be plotted. Set the value of y min to 0. Since I have given step input as 2, to display the output on graph, I should change the y max to any higher value. We will change it to 3. Make a mental note of the default value of the refresh period. The default value is 30. We will keep the other parameters unchanged. Click on OK. 
Now go to the simulation in the menu bar and click on setup. A pop-up window appears. We will change the value of final integration time. Final integration time decides how long the simulation will run. Recall the value of refresh period of the C-scope block. I will keep the value of final integration time equal to the value of the refresh period of C-scope block. So I will change it to 30. Keep the other parameters unchanged. Click on OK. Now press Ctrl S to save the file with a suitable file name. I will save it as first order dot xcos. To start the simulation, click on the start button available on the menu bar of xcos window. A graphic window will open showing the step response of the first order transfer function. We can save this plot as an image file. To save the graph, go to the file menu and click on export to option. I will name it as first order dot png and click on OK. There are certain parameters which we chose to keep as a default value. These can be changed. For example, in the clock underscore c block, the period which means the sampling period and the initial time can be set. In the Cisco block, the output window number, position, size, buffer size, graph color, etc. can also be set. Pause the video here and solve the exercise given with the video. Simulate a second order transfer function with damping ratio of 0.5 and angular frequency equal to 1. Try changing the color of output graph. Using the first exercise, plot the step input and output in a single plot window. Now let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to create XCOS simulation diagrams using Palette Browser, configure each block as per the simulation requirements, set up the simulation parameters, save the output plot. Watch the video available at the following link. It will summarize the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash NMEICT intro. Hope you found this tutorial useful. This is Rupak Rokde from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.